What if you could use time itself as the most powerful way to ensure flawless behavioral consistency? Well, when you do what I'm about to show you, self-mastery at every level becomes inevitable. Now, I'm Rian Doris, co-founder and CEO of the Flow Research Collective, and along with my partner, New York Times best-selling author Stephen Kotler, we have helped tens of thousands of professionals make peak performance habits as automatic as breathing. Now, you can probably relate to this experience. On paper, your day plays out as smoothly as a well-coordinated symphony, consistently executing your high-performance habits. But in reality, your days play out a little bit more like a garage band fumbling through their first gig. You've read the books on habit formation. You know what to do, but you don't do what you know. And this disconnect isn't just disheartening, it can kind of feel like a personal betrayal. You crave consistency, but instead, find yourself stuck in a cycle of spurts and halts. You start a new exercise routine, swear off the mindless scrolling, and commit to focused work blocks. But your attention gets hijacked and motivation falls away as you break down into that inconsistency once again. And yet, you can't help but envision a version of yourself who's mastered the art of consistency and who moves through the day unwavering self-mastery. So is such a life even possible? Well, let's rewind a little bit. A few months back, back, I'm chatting with my writing partner, Joshua, and he made me think of something that has transformed my behavioral consistency from shaky to unshakable ever since. Now, I had just gotten better from a brutal bout of long COVID, which is a rare form of COVID-19 that persists for weeks, months, or even years after you get COVID. And for a year, it took me hours to get out of bed in the morning. I couldn't exercise and I could barely even work. My peak performance habits that I had spent 20 plus years getting in place got completely derailed. And at the same time, I had just acquired a new company and started a full-time PhD on top of already running a team of 60 people. So I had to clean up my behavior as fast as possible and get back to consistency. So Joshua looked at me and he said, look, let's make this really simple. What's the one daily habit that makes the rest of your behaviors happen automatically. I instantly answered, I know what that is. If I wake up at 5.30 a.m. and dive straight into flow, it makes my entire day infinitely more productive. From the moment I started my first business, so much of the success relied on that one habit. Now, by the way, this is referred to as a domino habit, a habit that if done, auto-corrects the rest of your behavior and the rest of the day. A domino habit can be anything. Maybe it's watching the sunrise every morning. Maybe it's taking a cold shower. Maybe it's going to bed at a certain time or waking up at a certain time. It's doing something that if done and results in the rest of your day being maximally efficient, productive, and aligned. Now the problem for me was that even after recovering from the long haul COVID, I was still having trouble with getting consistent with that domino habit, I would end up staying up late, snoozing the alarm, getting sucked into my phone, the usual stuff. So I asked Joshua, how do I ensure I actually do the domino habit and stick to it relentlessly? Well, Joshua thought about it and then he reminded me of the research on temporal landmarks. This is research done at the University of Pennsylvania and they refer to temporal landmarks as dates of significance that are distinct from ordinary days or that draw a boundary between one era in our lives and another, like the start of a new year. Mondays or birthdays, temporal landmarks serve as markers in time that separate our past selves from our future selves. And these landmarks produce a fresh start effect. But there's no inherent reason to wait so long between temporal landmarks. If you adopt intraday temporal landmarks, that occur within the 24 hour cycle, you get this continuous fresh start effect, which ends up leading to behavioral consistency. So Joshua said to me next, have you tried mapping out the temporal landmarks within the 24 hour period before your domino habit, which again, for me, happens to be waking up at 5.30 a.m. and doing wake up and flow. Well, I looked at Joshua thinking he might be onto something. So he starts firing some questions at me. He says, first, look, what time do you have to be asleep to hit that 5.30 a.m. wake up? Well, 9 p.m., I told him. To drift off by 9, when do you need to be in bed? Well, 8.30 p.m. And to hit the sack by 8.30, what time should you finish dinner? 6 p.m. And we continued that line of questioning until I'd identified all of the temporal landmarks. And then I got my phone out and I did something really simple but game-changing. I set alarms on my phone for each temporal landmark. The alarm would act as a trigger to ensure that I shifted my behavior accordingly. 
to honor the temporal landmark and then move into the next phase of the day, which then keeps the entire 24 hour cycle of a day on track to have us roll consistently into hitting that domino habit. So this is what it looked like when we mapped it out together. 5.30 a.m., wake up and flow. 8 a.m., reboot routine. 5 p.m., work finishes. 6 p.m., finish eating. No more eating for the rest of the day. 8.30 p.m., ready for bed. 9 p.m., be in bed, ready to sleep. It was like setting up a series of dominoes. And the first one was set to fall at 5.30 a.m. And that's when Joshua said, you wanna stay consistent. Just don't get unhinged. So what did he mean by that? Well, our days hinge on our domino habit. And our domino habit hinges on the temporal landmarks. And each alarm acts as a hinge, just as a door swings from closed to open on its hinges, each alarm is a turning point in your day, a moment when you pivot from one activity to another that keeps you on track to hit that domino habit. The one habit that if done, auto-corrects your behavior. It's that one thing that if you nail, makes the day pretty much guaranteed to be an eight or a nine out of 10. And ever since putting these hinges in place and setting alarms for each temporal landmark, I haven't missed a single 5.30 a.m. wake up. See, now why does this work so well? Well, surely the solution to consistently nailing your high performance habits each day can't come down to something as trivial as setting a few alarms on your phone, right? Well, let's look at the science for a second. So first off, the alarms that you set to remind you of the day's temporal landmarks, the hinges, decrease cognitive load, which is the amount of information we're trying to hold in working memory at any given time. And they do this by slicing our day into these manageable segments, which reduces the strain on our working memory, improving efficiency. They also simplify decision-making because once you know exactly when to start an activity and when to stop an activity, it reduces procrastination. And lastly, these hinges outsource time management and they actually fundamentally shift the nature of time management from an active thing where we're trying to wrestle into a passive unconscious process that automatically occurs. And there's multiple benefits to the decrease in cognitive load. First, you're more present. You have more attention to sink into the moment at hand, trusting that the hinges you put in place will pull your attention to where it's supposed to be at the time it's supposed to be. And this matters because flow state can only occur when we're fully focused and present to the moment. The reason flow triggers work and drive us into that state of deep immersion is because they either do one of two things, lower cognitive load or increase dopamine and norepinephrine, which funnel attention into the present moment. So when you reduce cognitive load by setting these hinges, you end up with more access to flow. Here's the way I want you to think about this whole intervention. Okay, picture it like using GPS for a road trip. Instead of having to remember every turn, the GPS remembers everything and guides you, letting you focus on driving. The end destination is that domino habit that's gonna auto-correct your whole day. The temporal landmarks are every turn that you have to take to stay on track. And the hinge is the voice on the GPS that tells you when to make each turn to ensure you hit your destination of the domino habit. So how do we actually implement this to drive that behavioral consistency that I know we all crave so much? Well, there's three really simple steps. The first is to identify your domino habit that auto corrects the rest of the day, that one lead domino that we need to flick. Now, sometimes this domino habit is obvious. It may be morning exercise, meditation, or a focused work ritual, but it is different for everyone. You may find that your domino habit is something quite unexpected, like maybe there's a correlation between you reading for 60 minutes and your behavior becoming much more aligned. So take some time to think about it. Look back on the periods that you've been most happy, most fulfilled, and most productive. What's the one habit that has been a constant for you during those periods? Is it a workout? Is it time with a friend? Is it a nap in the middle of the day? Is it getting up at a certain time? Is it doing a certain ritual in nature? Maybe it's staying really consistent with your diet. The key is that you find that one habit that you know when done makes everything else fall into place, tipping all the other dominoes. Step two is to reverse engineer the temporal landmarks in your day that are gonna dramatically increase the likelihood that you will end up hitting that domino habit. For example, if your domino habit is a morning workout, you're gonna to wanna to ask, what is every essential milestone in the 24 hours before the workout that I have to hit to ensure the workout happens without fail? And bear in mind, these temporal landmarks might be as simple as something like 
stopping working or eating dinner. Counterintuitively, it's possible a temporal landmark can even interrupt an optimal habit, like stopping working. If you look at my hinges, the only optimal habit, so to speak, is the reboot routine. Every other alarm or hinge that I have set for each landmark denotes a phase shift, not necessarily an optimal habit. For example, sometimes I'm doing something really productive at 8.30 p.m. and the alarm goes off telling me it's time to stay aligned to that hinge and get ready for bed. On aggregate though, over this 24 hour period and then over a week and a month, you're going to get more total productivity, performance and flow by staying on track with your temporal landmarks. And that's because ultimately the domino habit is gonna give you so much leverage and auto correct the rest of your behavior so effectively. Now step three is to set your hinges, the alarms for each temporal landmark. These hinges specifically alert you to the fact that you've reached a temporal landmark. Time to phase shift to stay on track for your domino habit into the next stage of the day. Your goal is to turn with each hinge. It's like spinning a top that keeps on spinning. Aim to establish hinges for when you wake up, go to bed, wrap up your work, and engage in recurring activities such as exercise, eating, or breaking a fast. As you do this, there's a common mistake a lot of people make that can completely derail the effectiveness of hinges, and that is setting more than six. Anything more than six is just gonna to be too complex and disrupt natural flexibility in your day or cause you to not end up adhering to the hinges. You just need the key hinges that are gonna keep your day moving and set you up to hit that domino habit. Now you may wonder, look, what if I miss my domino habit or I miss a certain hinge? Well, it's simple. Just turn with the next hinge. You'll be on track for the next 24 hour cycle if you hit the next hinge. That's the beauty of it. With hinges, you're removing the onus of consistency from one domino habit, which you sometimes miss, you now have six chances to win, which is each hinge. So here's a simple way to lock all of this in. All you need to do is what the hinges tell you to do. By doing that, you'll hit the domino habit, which again is gonna auto-correct the rest of the day. That is it. No overcomplicated to-do lists, no need to make the habits obvious or stacked. It's just a simple mechanism of using time itself to keep you on track with consistent peak performance behavior in every 24 hour period. Now, even if you have your hinges set, you probably aren't using your mornings in a way that's maximally conducive to elite levels of productivity, which I know you are capable of. So click this video on screen here and we'll show you how to wake up and flow so you can get more done in the first few hours of your day than most professionals do in their entire day.